In this video, I'll show you how to really use Copilot to get this solution. So I have an issue here. I have mapping from my accounting accounts here. I have my dates at the top. And what I want to do is actually Excel to do some if based on my mapping and my dates. So I want to have an interchangeable date here and it shows my results. So you see the cat 1561. If I had six, and 1555 here, it give me the results. But if I want to change quickly to the 30th of June, I have my cats and dogs here and it brings me my mapping. I can't use really index match because I have multiple lines for a single mapping. So I'll show you how to use Copilot in Excel and you don't need the pro version. You don't need to pay for it. This is absolutely free and this is actually a real situation I got from a client. So we'll go into Copilot free and I'll show you how we do this. And for that, I will take this very empty solution and we'll do it together. All right. So I open Copilot on the right pane here and to the left, you have my Excel file. So here we want a sum if based on my criteria here in column F. So I have my cats and dogs and I have my date on G2. That is the orange cell that I will need to change. I will need to change this date and it's going to give me back the right sum. So I will need to be very specific when I talk to Copilot. I will tell Copilot, hi, I want to have a summary of my data. The main goal is to change a single date and it gives me the right sum of the column that this date is located. My data is as follow. In column A, I have my mappings. For now, my mappings are cat and dogs and they have multiple occurrences which means I can't use the index and match function because it will give me back only one value. In column B, C and D, I have my dates. The main goal is to change one date in cell G2 and it is going to give me back the sums of the values below my the sums of the values. Let's say it like that. My dates columns B, C and D, as I told you more specifically, my headers are star starting in B3 to D3. All right, we will see. So I got really, really specific with the AI. I have a great idea of the index and match, what it does, what it can do. I know for a fact I'm experimented in Excel. I know index and match can only give me back one value. So I gave a lot of data to the AI to see if it's going to work. And let's see what the AI gives me. It's a Based on your description, it sounds like you want to sum the values in a column based on the date that you specify in cell G2. Since you have multiple occurrence of cats and dogs in column A, you can't use the index and match function. Instead, you can use the sum if function in Excel, which allows you to sum values based on, based on multiple criteria. Here's an example of how you can do this. It gives me the sum if of cat, sum if of cat, and sum if of cat. The AI didn't quite understand. I would love to have only one function that would use both sum ifs and index and match and change which sum it gives me based on the date located in cell G2. I think this should work to be honest with you, uh, but you know, AI is not always right. And here you go. Uh, all right. It gives me two sum if. Could we make this only one formula? Question mark. Because now it gave me two formulas. Oh, here you go. I think we have something good here. I think we have something good. All right. And now it gives me some sum if index. Give me a very long formula, right? What I don't like from the AI, it gives, it gives me 
is that it gives me cats and dogs at the end. I will tell him my criteria that I want to search for is located in cell F3. By example, the cat is in cell F3. Can you make a better function with this, please? And we're going to see. Absolutely. Here you go. And then I think it's going to work. Party people. Uh, I know with AI, it seems complicated. I, I had a really good understanding of Excel. I knew what it wanted to do. And here you go. I just copy the code and we're going to try it here. And it's going to put here you go 13. And if I just drag it down or actually I won't drag it down. I'll just copy paste it and change for dogs. So here we go. I have my five for dogs, which is these cells right here. And I have my 13 for cat. Now I'm done with AI. Thank you, AI. You made it happen. It took me a few discussion with the AI. I hope it's going to be clear on video. But what I want to do here actually is just now add a data validation. So I go into data. I click on data validation. I click on list here and for the source, I will just select my different dates, click on OK. And I won't even explain the formula. It just basically mix the sum ifs and index match. That's not really the goal of this video. You can go back. It explains it for you. So now I added my drop down menu and when I just switch my dates, here we go. I put May of 31st. It gives me 1561, which is the addition of those two blue cells here. And for the dogs, it gave me 25, which is the addition of these pink cells here. And then I put it in June. And here we go. We have my results. So pretty simple. If I just want to add another column, you know what to do. You change your ranges here and everything should fit. So this is how you use AI Copilot in Excel. You don't need to pay for Copilot. It was maybe a little bit complicated but if you're advanced in excel you don't need to pay if you are a beginner in excel i will advise you pay for copilot pro which is right here it gives you access to copilot straight up in excel the only thing is that it only works on table and here in this case my data was not in table I have a 15 minutes course on how to learn Copilot, which is linked down in the description. Feel free to have a look at it and hopefully you are learning as much as you learn in this video. Cheers.